Alright guys, welcome back. Half fast 719. Should be hot fast. Because it's hot out here. <clears throat> uh what did I do? Oh, I ended up welding that. Um well this little piece just to support it so that these don't flop anymore not flopping like like that oh yeah I did make uh, some shock shock mounts for the lower and then TIG welded these bolts on here for the upper not sure how <clears throat> how well that's going to hold. Um, what I think I'm going to do is run a piece of metal probably from the bottom at an angle. Just do a little 45 right there because I don't need that whole stud. I just need, you know, like this much. That much of it, which is like, uh, if I remember right, it was an inch and seven eighths, inch and three quarter plus some threads so I'll gusset it at an angle a little triangle in there to support it so right now what I'm doing is I'm gonna go ahead and remove this torsion bar setup I figured I don't think I'm gonna be able to clock it the way I want and uh, little weight reduction anyway so I'm gonna get rid of these torsion bar set up oh, sorry I'm going upside down and uh, what I'm also gonna do is I'm probably gonna come in here this is a bump stops here to here so I'm probably gonna come in here somehow and cut this off um, I can either do it now or I can wait because I'll probably probably end up cutting it somewhere in there but for right now and then I'll just do a uh, thin a real thin skinny air shock for the front and then you can see I need some steering components which I have I have the box of all the steering so anyway it's pretty much all I'm doing today um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and take this all off maybe I'll loosen this Zoomed in. Maybe I'll loosen this up here, loosen the front one, throw out some uh, camber, caster, throw out some camber, yeah, camber. Um, basically push this all the way that way as far, as far as I can, um, once it's completely slammed on the ground. So, anyway, I got new ball joints, upper, lower. Uh, sway bar in links just all kinds of stuff for it all the steering outer tie rod inner tie rods because you can see that wheels not moving and we got that much moving in here and then I'll probably pick up some axles maybe or maybe I'll just eh, probably pick up some axles axles are cheap nowadays like 80 bucks so, and like I said, I have to cut, I have to grind all these off. I, tack, I welded this one on. I have to pull this off. Cut that one off back there. Same on the other side. Clean up the frame. Um, kind of wanted to put the truck in the garage and uh, start doing the uh, that rear. Doing the rear diff, welding all that stuff up. But anyway, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, 
tear all these bolts off. Six bolts right here, and uh, show you what it looks like on the on the ground. So, I right, guess I'll be back. All right, people. <clears throat> Just as the camber as far out as I can go. I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, Excuse the wind, first of all. I think I'm gonna have to do something else. Anyway, here we go. Here's the torsion bars, keys, all that junk. That cross member. I might, you guys let me know in the description or comments, sorry. If you guys think I should put that little cross member back in. There is the training cross member about six inches in front of it. Um, you guys tell me what you guys think. Uh, so yeah, for the most part, everything's out. It's all gutted. I was gonna cut those, but I figure once I do the suspension, uh, the tie rods and whatever else, I'll uh, Go ahead and replace those then. So let's see how far how far we drop. Drop drop drop. Dang. That is a probably dropped about another inch and a half it is not on bump stops oh yeah it's way in there cuz the Ooh. Hmm. tires don't rub not right there anyway cuz the tire the top of the tire used to be about right right there so we got about inch and a half two inches out of her lowered so it's coming along I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the wiring schematics of this and uh, probably cut all those wires and splice all the wires in because like I said, that's all that's in here is lights, temperature, oil pressure, battery, and fuel, and speedometer, blinkers, all the other junk. It's the same, same stuff that's in the in the other console. Because I don't really want to cut up the dash any more than I already have, or that it already is. So temp, battery, oil, fuel speedometer and uh, yeah then you got your blinkers wherever they are oh one over here one over there um, the only other thing that's in there is like check engine light uh, e-brake some other stuff that I probably won't use so anyway you guys tell me what you guys think it's a work in progress and uh, I'm pooped. It's hot. It's just really hot out here. I think it's supposed to be 98 degrees and it feels about 95, 97. So <clears throat> I will uh, slam it lower and if need be what I can do with the upper ball joints is I can uh, drill those out uh, farther uh, because they're just bolts that go through nuts and bolts so I can drill them out about a quarter inch maybe three-eighths of an inch drill them out uh, tap new holes then this way it pushes the the top of the wheel out so anyway that's a slammed uh, you know what let me let the air out of the back because that's up about mm, about two inches Let's go down. Oh, 
all the way down. It's bottomed out as low as I can go. Um, tire on that side is hitting the inside of the fender right there. <clears throat> so, let's check it out. <sighs> Pretty slammed. Keep in mind this is a four-wheel drive chassis. So, anyway, I don't know. I'm getting excited for it, for the project. Um, I don't know when I'll do the wiring. I'll, I'll get a print out a wiring schematic for it. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'll run wires off of this with a bunch of, uh, I kind of want to solder everything, which I should be able to do inside the cab, but it's pretty, it's pretty hot. Pretty hot. Anyway, just gonna put up some jacks. It's uh, pretty much all I use jacks, and I already put the tools away and uh, pull the wife's car in. It's about 2 30. Too nerdy. I'm just gonna see how much air is in here. Maybe just enough to get it up. Just enough to put a little bounce in there. Okay, that'll work. <sighs> anyway, alright guys, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Thank you guys for commenting, subscribing, and uh, that's all I got. Alright guys, later.